Well, welcome back. We're in a little bit different venue right now than we normally are. We're out here in the backyard. And what we're doing today, here a couple of weeks ago, I did a short video on the sandblasting media that I picked up just using basic uh, play sand, like that right there. And then I just made a little sifter that I went through where I sifted it down into this five gallon bucket. And you can see there, that's, that's the little screener. And this is my media down here, which is pretty fine. Kind of a, a salt uh, kind of thing. And um, I also purchased no shit media, I guess I'd call it. And that this is aluminum oxide, I believe it was. There's eight pounds here and it was darn near 40 bucks. I don't have a blasting cabinet, so this 40 bucks eventually is gonna wind up out there on the dirt. Unless it works one hell of a lot better than play sand, I'll use the play sand. And, but I had one of my, one of the uh, guys commented on my video when I showed this, he said, why don't you do a comparison? So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna have here a piece of, this is a sewing machine, an antique sewing machine project that I'm working on. Still got a lot of paint on it and what have you. So we're gonna use that as kind of our test and see how these two different media take the paint off this. Now I've also, I had actually done some paint stripper, so the paint's not all over it, but it's still on in spots where the paint stripper didn't get it out. And some of those tough, hard to, hard to get spots. So we're gonna work on that. So the sandblaster we've got is just a cheap, I think this is 49 bucks or something like that on Amazon. I've got a little water filter here. Got my safety shield, my face shield, and my respirator. So we're gonna start with just the play sand. So we'll take the top off of that and put a scoop in here. Okay, that is one tank full of the play sand media, and it does okay. I'm gonna have to go over it a little bit. It did this pretty well here. Took this paint off here where it needed to. I've got some more down in here. Gets in there. So now, we're gonna see if this uh, expensive shit does any better. Now, like I said, we're just gonna be blowing this out into the dirt here since we don't have a recovery mechanism like a cabinet or anything like that. So this is going to be put on the category of a waste of money unless it cleans this damn thing like in a heartbeat and perfectly. But we're just gonna do the test anyway since I have it. Now one thing I can tell is this is a lot finer so I might not have to have the valve as wide open as I do with the play sand. So I can tell that, that's for sure. I could probably get play sand to that granularity if I sifted it some more. Got some steep places right here. We'll work on this right in here. Now right now I've got the valve closed and I'm going to open it up a little bit. Already I can tell that I don't have to have the valve open nearly as wide so I'd probably save a little bit on that and it's doing a pretty good job with just a smaller flow. So far I'd have to say that this blasting media does in fact do a better job. It's finer so I'm not running it as, as much through it and it seems to get into the crooks and crevices a little bit better and cleans it up a little bit better as you can see right here. But at like uh, what five dollars a pound versus five dollars for fifty pounds or about forty pounds by the time I separate it all. I don't know. Uh, it might be good for 
those few projects where you really got to use it or maybe to clean up at the end or something like that. But we're going to go ahead and do one more, one more load of the, the aluminum oxide blasting media and I think I'm probably going to go back to the sand. I think I can definitely conclude that the blasting media, that aluminum oxide, works better than place in. I'll guarantee that because it just seemed to be a little smoother and take off the paint and get into the nooks and crannies a little bit better. And while I was able to dial it down because it's so much finer, I didn't have to use quite as much or didn't flow through quite as fast, unless I can find it a hell of a lot cheaper, and which I'll look to see if I can, but I think I'm going to go ahead and do most of this with play sand. I'll save the other stuff for cleanup and getting into those places where I think that will work better. Anyway, that's kind of my view on this. And again, I'm not using a complicated, this is just your $40, $40, $50 gun here. And I'm we're using a 30 gallon compressor at about probably 100 PSI. Hope this is helpful. Uh, don't forget to comment, subscribe. Send me any comments, ideas you got on sandblasting, because I'm totally new to this and I'm just kind of messing around with it right now, using it to clean this old sewing machine frame up so I can use it for a project.